Our forces are closing in on the Rectorian port city of Mashan. Unfortunately, the stubborn Rectorians have bolstered the perimeter of the city with many troops and several bounty hunters. Captain Blaze and I can secure the perimeter if you can guarantee you'll send troops to the western part of the port city. I will try to distract the Rectorian forces from the western front, but I can offer no guarantee. Honestly, the best approach would be to bombard those inferior savages to bits and pieces. We will not bombard civilians. That is totally out of the question. So, with all due respect, if we bombard the city, we'll just incentivize more Rectorians to take up arms against the Republic. Captain Blaze, is it? You may be a skilled fighter and tactician, but you're no statesman. Actually, bombing may stir the pot a bit too much. Sir, I just think if we can send each platoon to a different corner of the perimeter, we can breach the Rectorian defense. If we can't bombard the bloody brutes, then I want your forces to attack from the right flank and left only. Commander Mosley, they're expecting us in the direction. This would be a second version of Ambora! Casualties would skyrocket! Worrying about casualties is your job, Captain. My job is to make sure the perimeter gets breached as efficiently as possible. Several Rectorians massacred. Buildings razed. These so-called peacekeepers are only the harbingers of destruction. For any of you who once questioned our struggle against the Republic, you should now see them for what they are. Hypocrites, war criminals, and child murderers. Lieutenant Halix, how skilled are our new mercenaries? Very skilled fighters, sir. Among these mercenaries, we have Zenith Assad, the Prussian juggernaut Xander Arson, the feisty Gloria Medici, and the notorious Boa warlord Chad Gujolat. I never thought we'd have to resort to the scummiest of the scum, Helix. Sir, these mercenaries will do their job well. No one dares to utter their names in vain across the galaxy. I guess drastic times call for drastic measures. Have fun down there, boys! Brothers, remember the Rectorians have strong armor. Aim for their heads. Take no prisoners unless they're officers. Anna Ye Sha Mi Jiang Jia. Come on, boys, give it to the Rectorian savages. This is for good daddy. For Christ's sake, can someone cover me? There are too many of them. We need more troops. Come on, show them what terror company is made of. Oh. It's a good thing women can pay. Yeah. Ring goes down. What are you doing on the bar? Someone shoot the bloody Darrow. Lay the Rectorian scouting! Come on, troops! Take a target! Oh, not another bow! Die, Commander Jockeys! Hurry, hurry! We need a medic! We need a medic! Sir, I see the machine gun at! Everybody get a cover! Fire will! Fire will! So we have to push forward! Captain Blazer pinned down! Maintain your head formation! Oh, enemy vehicle at 11 o'clock! Trooper, are you okay? We're taking heavy casualties! Well, hell, oh. Stello, keep your head in the game, we need you! Here, take your gun! We have to hold this position at all costs! Sergeant Huff reporting for duty, sir! Reinforce our troopers by the tank. Yes, sir, right away. Come on, girl, it's time for more target practice. We need a rocket trooper here on the double. Sir, do you 
have to do this. Yes, Sergeant. That is the price of war. I hope you come to understand that one day. Sir, Lieutenant Spears requests your presence. Very well, I'll be on my way. So we got this captain, this young boy, trying to retreat. What should we do with him, sir? Aren't you supposed to be in college or something? What's your name, kid? I'm not gonna answer any of your damn questions, clone! I'm sick of playing games. I'll remove each and every one of your fingers if you don't tell me. So, what's your name? Enough! Stop! Okay, okay. My name is Halix. Well, Captain Halix, if your troops don't surrender, I'm gonna make sure they get obliterated. Send the boy to solitary confinement. He'll only have his right hand to talk to. Oh, how's Commander Suyo doing? Did he handle the explosion well? So he looks alright. He just appears to have suffered a concussion. I swear, those Rectorians and reinforcements, I'm going to tear them apart limb by limb. I'm sick of them killing our brothers. I want the entire planet destroyed. Blood, why don't you chill out a little bit, eh? You're not even one of the original members of this company. You wouldn't understand. I'm tired seeing those brutes pick off my brothers one by one. Reinforcements! Armor, don't worry, reinforcements are coming soon! Come on boys, there are too many of us, we can do this! Now, uh, why can we have armor like them? Uh. Concentrate fire, the enemy is at the center! Survive. Snow, do you really think a gray is gonna kill me? Armand, I think Fly is gonna kill you. Destroy these savage bots and jump! Oh. Show them the rats of the 212! Oh. Come on, then, we can do this! Oh. So we found the Home Secretary trying to evacuate his residence. Well done, Reggie. Tofu and a few others were the sole survivors of that platoon. We'll make sure the barbaric Rectorians pay for the bloodshed of our brothers. Barbaric? You have the audacity to call my people barbaric when you bombed my people, women, children, and the elderly. When you invaded our home, shelled our buildings to smithereens. That was beyond our control. We did not intend to kill you civilians, some of them got in the way when we were trying to shell your troops. If it was unintentional, why did you invade? Tell me that. Why destroy our democracy and threaten the lives of millions? Because your people were supplying weapons to the Republic, goddammit! We didn't have a choice! Because Rectoric people are tired of your trade embargoes, your confiscation of our resources, and your demonization of us. Look, I'm just following my orders. I'm a soldier, not a politician like you. I don't see a soldier, I just see a coward in armor. Say that again to my captain, I dare you! That's enough. Reggie, take him away. Sir, what if this war isn't for the better of the galaxy? Armand, our republic isn't perfect. 
who are fighting for peace across the galaxy. And sometimes maintaining the peace means resorting to brutality if need be. So are you sure about that? What if we're wrong? What then? Well, we're not wrong, Trooper. The Republic is here for a reason. I was wrong. We were just pawns to be used at the Emperor's disposal. Ken fighter to ensure the subjugation of the galaxy. By the time I realized this reality, I was too late to make a difference. I wish I could have done something sooner to prevent the downfall of the Republic. I was too slow to take action. Too slow to save Seo and my brothers. But I'm not going to let the new Republic down. We're building something neither the Republic nor the Empire could truly offer. Unity and peace. Today something unprecedented happened. Both rebels and Imperials drafted a strategy on how to repair plants destroyed in a bloody war. Sure, not everyone got along. But enough were on board to make it happen. <laughs> this is adorable, Blaze. Maybe you're all having a beer today, but tomorrow, when everything goes to hell, you'll be at each other's throats. I know it, and the old you would have known it. We're paving the way for prosperity. Nothing will be perfect, and the struggle will be strenuous. We'll thrive, and you'll never get to see it happen in this cell. That sounds like such a beautiful future. It's too bad Lead, Knight, and your other brothers will be a part of it. At least Blaze will always be a better man than you could ever be. You should be praying his name every day. Because if it were up to me, I'd slit your throat and feed your rotten corpse to the Banthas. Camilla, that's enough. This is the worst punishment a man like him can deserve. The world will be thriving not despite his absence, but because of it. This is the New Republic.